All right, guys, it's myself, Chris Slicko. I'm a boxing instructor, and today we're going to speak about the difference between an orthodox stance and a southpaw stance. As you can see, we have the orthodox stance. We have the left leg forward and a right leg back, okay? So, we're going to move the left hand jab forward and then bring it back, and then move the right hand cross and then bring it back. As you can see, when she's performing the movement, she's making sure she engages her core and she engages her hips at the same time. You generate the power from your legs. So we're going to do that again. Left jab, good. And then right cross, excellent, superb, and relax. All right, so the southpaw stance, as you can see, we have the right leg forward, okay, and the left leg back. So what I'd like her to do is jab with the right hand, Good, bring it back, and then cross with the left hand, bring it back. As you can see, when she's doing that, she's engaging the core, she's also bringing the hips forward, okay, to generate the power. You get the power from the legs, guys. We're gonna do that again. So, it is right hand jab, bring it back, perfect. And then left hand cross, good, perfect. Guys, I can't overemphasize, when you're doing the back leg, you wanna make sure your heels is up, so you generate the power and then you bring a snap back, heel down, okay? We'll do that one more time. So, with the southpaw stance, you're gonna use right jab, good. And then you're gonna use left hand cross. Excellent, superb.